you know black folks and the facts keep bleeding through uh, bow shock and then this is basically the probably the size of our solar system that you can figure out because even if it's off by a couple years they just he's got it down but the data doesn't lie okay it's in the same uh, GPS is the best thing I can say for people of layman terms but it, it is latitude and longitude in space and then uh, it's back around 200 years later okay and it, that's Gambart okay and then uh, the guy he ends up seeing finding a comet and then they look at the data and march up is this a new find is it a new find or is it an old find and then they pretty much come down with that fact there okay so this basically these are all comets and then they end up being a comet ends up being a falling star or a particle of a star running into something colliding that's why there's way more than one big bang and because the, uh, the factual that we know about the infinite size of space, we've not, we've not found no corner, no edge, no nothing. There's galaxies. Uh, Hubble telescope will show you that. Okay. So we've got pan stars. been telling you about that. We'll just keep going down through these. And these are all around. So we have a lot of electrical energy going on through our solar system right now. A lot of static electrical. Earth has sped up. Earth is moving uh, at 66,000 miles an hour through space when normally it averages 60,000 miles an hour. They changed the clock not too long ago. They added a, a certain amount of seconds and they moved the timeline in the Pacific Ocean because the, the clock speeds up. Our clock is the sun. So the sun has sped up rotation or the idea wouldn't have added time to the clock. Okay, Static electrical, uh, nuclear fusion off the sun, because the sun is just one huge star, okay? There's a bunch of stars connected to it throughout the Milky Way galaxy, and it's all static cling, and it's all electrical magnetical, okay? And you can go to a bunch of studies that I won't even talk about in here because the studies and the things that I have found, they're all in my head. I don't even put it on my computer because I know uh, SCADA, Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition. I know that basically any computer can be backdoored, so I keep it on a computer that's not plugged into the wall, not plugged into any wire, not wireless, okay? So actual factual, all this stuff, and we got a tons of static electricity through our atmosphere. And through the Milky Way galaxy, because all these comets, and I can just basically, I'm not trying to give you a headache, but all this stuff is listed in being observed a and, and I could go down and find another one, but for, uh, there's one, another one that is, uh, let me get it queued up here. You see, they, they, their, their nomenclature, uh, nomenclature, okay, nomenclature, okay, doesn't really matter. It's right or wrong. It's just language, okay? And then talk to a computer, talking to anybody, and I can talk to people in silent. And it's going to drive the rest of the world. It's got power and control nuts. Because they're not going to be able to contain me. Okay, so. Big asteroid discovered in 1906. Back around now, okay? And this was in the list. Sheila, 596, okay? So, over 100 years, okay? So, some comets take 200 years to go around our solar system. Yes, correct. They go around the sun, and we're going to have a good example of that. Now, I'll go to JPL again to make sure I beat it into everybody's head so you realize it. The comet that we're going to have, Panstar, I believe it is, could be wrong, I'm going to go to it in a minute, but it's going to be coming in this side over by Venus, okay, and it's going to come around the sun this way, and I showed in the last video, the, I'm not even going to show it, because I'm just making you real life, I'll just go to JPL, now we are getting, as you can see, we're getting this early, now yesterday I had two, and that's why I want to hurry up and videotape this, I got to blow up, and we're going to go over and find the, these objects. Now, up here, we got some pre panstar stuff coming in, okay? Because it's coming in this direction. Now, yesterday, I had two that were coming around the opposite direction. They are actually coming, actually, just like Venus, they were coming left to right. And I'll kind of show you where they were at. There was one basically down here, about four times these links together coming across, and then coming across over here. Up here above Venus, there was 
you take this time it's about five or six going this way okay so they were both going to what we consider to be going towards the east okay because it would be going to the right hand side towards stereo a i consider the left hand side of the sun west okay and the right hand side east okay so and then we got north above the sun and south below and pretty much this astronomy pretty much does the same thing so we're going to custom go in here at 999 or 8 or yeah we can go 999 and then hit ok we'll come up and we'll come over to the right and as you see i got should show up in the you get a lot of static electricity going on because I'm getting mirrored. I know SCADA, Supervisor Control and Data Acquisition. So now we got, just remember how we had these spiraling bullet-like looking, but it's just electrical. It's electrical and it's electrical sheets, okay? It's, it's basically electrical. It's all electrical. Everything's electrical, okay? Uh, there is mass, but at the same time, if Earth didn't have its static electrical bipolar north A polarity and B polarity and then we wouldn't be statically like a balloon uh, connected to the sun which is a gigantic static balloon a nuclear fusion static okay and nuclear is static okay and then we'll basically go up here on uh, and down and we'll zoom in over here okay and basically we'll be able to zoom in on this we'll pump this up to 999 and we'll even pull the magnifier out. And basically what you're seeing, I'll be able to enlarge what you would see in the normal resolution size on the screen right here is what I was seeing that was going to the east yesterday. And they were way longer than what even these are went on. Even if I blow these up, like I was saying, up the, the bigger ones and these here, you'd have to take about five to six times the size of these. Okay, so I'll pull out the magnifier. The one up to the upper right here, you're going to be able to tell when I move from this one to this one. And you can also see that little one there. So we got tons of stuff that's coming around. And basically, I showed you the years a while back, 100 years to 200 years. Just depends on during the Big Bang that was in the Milky Way galaxy, okay, or whatever was in space that created the Milky Way galaxy, and then our solar system with inside the Milky Way galaxy. As you can see that that stars in alignment, electrical energy, either that or we have comets. That's right, when a comet falls, it's tumbling through space. There's our stars. We'll go back up and here we get the tiny one. Okay, that was the light faint one. Okay, and then I can go up a little bit more because we know that we'll be up to the right on the other one. So you know that these star patterns are always correct in space. You blow in on them and you can read stars, comets, dark shadows. Okay, so we're going to pump out real fast here. And there we get that one there, we get it in the frame. So we can move over to that. And basically you can see that one good enough there that I'll have to make a click to be able to and I won't be able to I'd have to get down and get over to this corner and actually I get a hold of it we get lucky and then we get up to that and then I can move so we're at the faint one and then I can move over to the right the upper one so you know that all these stars and comets when they tumble whether it's star falling in space and pretty much it's actual factual that the one that I did the speed calculation on and should be able to get the magnifier to pop down so I can look at this in there. This is as good as I'm going to get in a minute, though this is the long one there. So when I did the speed calculation on that one, and then I'm going to pump out of this and you'll realize what I'm talking about. It's all actual factual that these are stars and you can see when they, when I called it the wagon round and so forth and so on. Pop up to 400 real fast. Basically, we were looking at these here. Okay, so we were zoomed in and looking at this, this, and this. Okay, actual fact. 
Now remember, I got my two channels, and no matter what, you want to be watching this hottie holy hockey fact fact. Because basically, this is going to explain a lot. I got this, I'll have this one featured for a while. Because that's going to give you the actual factual. And I show you going between this channel and being able to go ahead and go back to my old library. Basically, I just can't upload right now. Take care of some legalities, and we'll probably be able to upload videos to this one again, too. I wouldn't see why not. It's going to end up costing some corporations a lot of money if they don't. So I've got a contract. It's rock solid. So, uh, argument in court is just an argument. Okay, facts are facts. I got facts. The idea that this needs to be up by contractual agreement. So, we go back to my channel. Like that. Okay, because I just had to put separation because of certain big strong arming activities which are illegal. And then we'll pop down in screen size. And then we will pop back over to the original channel. Okay. And then we'll go to feature there. And that featured video there will make you realize. And we'll like pop out of that real fast. We'll pop back to the channel. That you're on on my channel. Because what we're looking at right here is we're and at my penal we've black got channel. Here. Uh, and basically and I'm not even going to worry about the audio right now. You can, can hit featured. Always look at the featured when the most important video. So this is the most important video right now. And then I'll go ahead and we'll get over here and we'll just actually I can click out of that one and click out of the... Okay, this is important here and we're going to end up going in on these, zooming in on our objects that we have in here. And they're getting... Uh, I'll show you some pictures again from nighttime here in a minute. And this is basically the most recent picture on the 5th during the daytime hours. And basically there you have your time and everything like that. And I'm going to pump up to 400. And you're going to see what we are actually getting reflected down. Everything's, this is basically Mother Nature's Hubble telescope. The ice formations and everything on up at, this is basically up by our Alaska. Okay. Uh, I'm going to zoom in on what you're seeing here. And we'll get into like 888 going to be some noise in the background and not going to do what I need to get this in real fast. So as you can see we're getting these stars here. I'll pull out. Uh, I can even get 999 because it's a picture. We'll get custom. Don't mind the noise in the background everything like that. We don't have a great studio right now. So basically pull this out and you're going to end up seeing these stars that are being you can see there and then I'll get the magnifier going here we go and it is actual factual I was think I was worried that they were we were getting faked out and someone's trying to fake somebody out about harp on basically making it the idea that that man is building this and it's not this is natural here now harp is does get propagated and can make a cloud like a Dutch sense showed but the idea that what we're seeing here is not man-made Okay, this is basically coming from out in space, leading through from the supergiants. Okay, so I need to get out of this real fast. And that's where we're at. We're at readout. And basically, today's shot, and let me show you some older shots, okay? And you can see them along the horizon here. There's a star there, there, and there, okay? And there's probably more actually there is. You can see it right there. So I can pump into that real fast. Wasting a lot of video time here, but here we go. Boom. Because you need to know that when we're blowing in on these, and as you can see, they're right along. And then I'll move to the right. So they're bleeding in from out, and it's a hyperbolic star. Okay, we're dealing with a hyperbolic star that's basically getting reflected off of the snow and ice on the ground. And it's even showing up during the daytime, as you can see that. You should be able to see these images here, along here. And I'll blow up. So I'll give you the other video in a little bit that'll have the stuff that you can see at nighttime, which is uh, much more easy to see. And as you can see there, this stuff is all there, and it's not man doing it. It's not harp, but harp can make a static signal, and you can see a cloud and make a lightning bolt. Okay, it's actual factual. So this stuff is there. It's being seen during the daytime pump down real fast in size and then I'll hurry up and try to throw in some of the pictures that we've been catching okay this is one that bled the truth through okay 
and I'll show you the time. Here's the time. There's another shot. More next video.